Good morning. Here are the headlines for today. The U.S. Ministry of Education and Stichting Studiefinanciering Curaçao Open Advice Center. Guyana and European Companies to Form Business Center. Liberty Puerto Rico reports $366 million in revenue in the first quarter of 2023. U.S. Consul General Marjorie Bond, Minister Citri van Heidorn, and SS Director Sidney Bicho Justiana signed an agreement to open Curacao's first ever Education USA Advice Center hosted by the SSC building in Otrobanda. The center joins the U.S. Department of State network of over 430 international student advising centers in and about 175 countries. According to a statement of the consulate, once opened, Education U.S. Curaçao will join Education U.S. Aruba in offering students in the Dutch Caribbean unparalleled access to free and accurate information about opportunities to study at accredited post-secondary institutions in the United States, thereby helping students narrow their options and plan their college careers. The U.S. Consulate is deeply committed to promoting the economic prosperity and well-being of the islands of the Dutch Caribbean. To read more on this article, go to cw.usconsulate.gov. Guyanese and some European companies agreed to establish a business chamber to promote trade and investment. EU Ambassador to Guyana, René Van Ness, noted that the chamber will strengthen the Guyanese-European business community ties. He added it will aid European companies to establish their businesses in Guyana and support Guyanese businesses navigating the European business landscape. President Ifran Ali encouraged Guyanese businesses to utilize the opportunity and express hope that the EU will assist them in overcoming any hurdles faced while navigating the European market. He added that British Airways has bridged the transportation issues previously faced by entrepreneurs dealing with the UK and EU. Ambassador Van Ness outlined that with 27 countries, the EU is the world's third biggest market with almost 500 million consumers with an appetite for quality products. To read more on this article, go to newsroom.gy. Liberty Puerto Rico, the local subsidiary of Liberty Latin America, reported $366 million in revenue for the first quarter, which ended on March 31st, reflecting a steady result when compared to last year's first quarter results. In the report, Liberty stated that the residential fixed revenue growth was driven by subscriber addition over the last year, partly offset by the reduced average revenue per user. Naji Kori, CEO of Liberty Puerto Rico, said the home services segment registered growth with 10,000 revenue-generating units, net additions, mostly driven by their internet product. Liberty reported operating income of $134 million before depreciation and amortization, down 4% from $140 for the same quarter last year. The decline was driven by higher operating costs, partly offset by lower direct costs following equipment credits received for historical handset purchases. To read more on this article written by Michelle Cantro Vasquez, go to newsismybusiness.com. If you've had a week like we've had, I'm sure you're happy it's weekend. This was your Carib Invest headline news to start your day.